Hey there YouTube. So we are working on the bike again. We're not working on the suspension. Got a couple issues I gotta straighten out before I can finish up with the suspension. Nothing major. Just some tools and things that need to be worked on. But for today, we're working on this. And that is the radiator. The reason why we're working on this is because even after the little JB weld video I should, that I made for you, which was me trying to repair a leak on it, it's still got a leak. And I decided that I don't really want to mess with that, especially if it's going to end up putting me on the side of the road on a bike trip. That just doesn't sound fun. So I bought a used radiator. It's in pretty good shape overall. Uh, a couple little bent fins or whatever, but that's not a big deal. It's, it's pretty clean. Uh, but I got that with a fan and a cooling, look, check this out. I got it with a fan, with the coolant temp sensor there on the bottom, with all the wiring and all that for 25 bucks on eBay. So you can't really go wrong with that. And it doesn't look like it has any leaks because there's no stains on it or nothing like that. So we're in good shape. I didn't actually have all the wiring for the coolant temp sensor before. So now I've got an extra fan. I've got another temp sensor. I've got wiring and stuff like that extra, so I feel like that's a pretty good deal. We're going to go ahead and start taking this apart and take this old radiator off. Pretty simple to take off, but I noticed that even after trying to seal it back up that, yeah, there you go. We're marking our territory in green. That's not the kind of thing I want to do on a bike. that's what you get that's how easy it is see I got a coolant sensor I got a good fan so I'm not too upset about that it was cheap yeah so now I just do the reverse So now I just have to plug in the electrical connectors and we'll go up top. We'll bleed some coolant, run the bike a little bit, see if we can get it up to up to temperature, get it flushing and all that good stuff. Alright, so we're back. I got made sure my drain plug is closed. Uh, the radiator and all the hoses and everything are installed and they're tight. I'm gonna start by pouring in probably about I'm not gonna have a product placement here, but well, yeah, there's the cleaner. You know what it is. I'm probably just going to put in... Oh, that sucks. We'll just have to rinse it off with water. It's sort of bubbling up out of the neck there. I don't have to pour that slow. I'm only going to use like half the bottle because this is only like a half a gallon of cooling system. So. It does have instructions on here for leaving it in the system for a while, and I'm going to do that and leave it in for three days and then flush it out with uh, the rest with just water. We'll just rinse everything off real good, make sure none of that stays on it. I 
think I need a different funnel because this is uh, bubbling up and running over everywhere. I thought this funnel would work better, but so far it's not. It's just leaking out the top. Alright, so we didn't find a didn't find another funnel. There's a small one around here that would wedge in that filler neck pretty nicely. And it'll fill up to the top and the bubbles will come up in, into the funnel. But I don't see that. Anyway. Kinda neat. I guess I'm going to have to crack open the bleeder screw until it starts running out of there. Get let some of these air bubbles out because this is not working so great.
diagnostics and deliberation, <clears throat> we have a verdict on the cooling system. Check this out. That's right, blown head gaskets. So it's coming apart. So, I think that'll conclude part one of uh, the cooling system diagnosis. Stay tuned while we tear this motor down, and I'll catch you in the next video.